Hey guys, this is Mr. Right Way. On my last video, I collected every PlayStation greatest hit. And today's video, I'm gonna give you the top 10 most difficult greatest hits to find. If this is your first time on the channel, do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications on your cell phone and on YouTube that will help out this channel so much. We can get to our goal soon of 100,000 subs, but, I need your help and I need for you to subscribe. Now, all of these games are greatest hits. Now, over the past couple of months, I have been trying to get every PlayStation greatest hits. We just finished the PlayStation 2. We got one more on the PlayStation 1 and it's a doozy. We're left with the PlayStation 3 and PSP, but today, let's get into the PlayStation 2. All right, started at number 10, we got a sports game. Now, a lot of sports games on the greatest hits are kind of difficult to find, including this one. This was the last year for this game or this franchise on the PlayStation 2, so that's why it's pretty much difficult to find. It is Madden 12. Now, Madden 12 by EA Sports is an okay game. I'm not a huge Madden fan or a football fan, but a lot of people in the comments and who I talk to absolutely love this game. Now, expect to pay around about $30 for a complete copy of this game. That's why it's yeah, $30. And in the greatest hits version of this game, not many were made. That's why a lot of these games on this list are gonna be this way because a lot of greatest hits games were not produced in large quantities. Got the cover right here on the back. And also, the manual sometimes may be black and white or they might be in color. But there you go, that is number 10. Now let's hit number nine. This next one is a pretty expensive one. It's probably in the top three most expensive greatest hits that I found, but it is a phenomenal fun game. And that is Def Jam Fight for New York. Now this game, it starts around 150, all the way up to $250 for both. Even the black label is still expensive. People wonder like, why is the why is the greatest hits game so expensive? One, game license and all the soundtrack and all the music on the game, you can't get it back, you know? You can't remaster this game with all the soundtracks and all the rappers and everything in this game. It's difficult to get re-licensed. This game does come with a color manual, a red disc, and on the back, as you can see, it's still the same thing just right here. Just, it has a red label. Don't let the red labels deter you guys. This is a fun game. I don't understand why a lot of people get upset about greatest hits and just the way it look. Aesthetically, they're all the same, you know? They're the same game and just a little bit of fixes in this game. All right, number eight. <laughs> Another expensive greatest hits. That's why I put it down to eight because a lot of people probably do not want to buy these games. Now, you can find a lot of these games online. I am mostly talking about a lot of these games that are you going out to like different game stores, conventions, and just all around like pun shops and places like that are hard to find these games. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi number three, the best Dragon Ball game of all time, guys. People still buy this game. This game is probably close to about $200 on the low end, about 175. As you can see guys, inside this game, you get a brand new color manual. Well, it's not brand new, but it's a great manual. You get a red greatest hits disc on the back. It actually, the red label actually matches with the green. It is a pretty dope game. This game, you can get it off of eBay. Good luck, man, because this game is expensive. If you really like Dragon Ball Z, you want this game, even the black label is around the same price. There's really hardly no differences because people want the game because they love it all time. Great game, just gonna be willing to pay for it. <laughs> the number seven game on the list, this game actually has bonus content and extra fixes. This game actually plays better than the black label. And we got Silent Hill number two. Silent Hill 2 by Konami, still one of the GOAT games on the system. A lot of people love this game. It's a great horror game. On the front, you know, greatest hit, Silent Hill 2, face like, oh. 
you look inside color manual guys red disc on the back as you can see now this version is the same as the xbox version and the xbox version is expensive look to pay around 120 dollars for this game number six we have the warriors warriors come out to play warriors come out to play i was definitely surprised by getting this game actually this game was my last greatest hits that i bought and it was hard to find guys sometimes you see this game has no manual at all i don't know why this game doesn't have a lot of manuals but the manual is in color the disc is red on the back you know as you see by rockstar games now i have not played the warriors in such a long time interestingly this game is around about 50 bucks. Both the black label and the greatest hits is around $50. But the rare of the two is the greatest hits version. Have you played the Warriors? Let me know down in the comments below. And I make sure you like and subscribe too. Now let's get to our top five. My number five game, guys. I had such a difficult time fighting this. I luckily double jump games had this game brand new this game hardly pops up used sometimes and i paid up for it i paid around about 70 dollars for this game brand new and still sealed but it's valkyria profile 2. this game is difficult to find if you do find it used you're probably paying between like 40 and 60 dollars i look and i said i got this around about 60 bucks so a brand new copy now is around about 100 so <laughs> I got a good deal on this game. I do have this on Black Label, so I'm not opening it, but the greatest hits version on this, it doesn't pop up at all hardly. I still got searches on eBay waiting for this game to pop up. I don't see it in any stores. I haven't seen this in over in a year in a store. Guys, the greatest hits games, if you do want to cook a nice subset of games like that, you might want to look for this one. They're great to have, but the rarity on these games are starting to dwindle down. Let's look at number four. Remember when I told you about sports games? Now we had Madden 12, we topped off at number 10, right? But did you know, did you know NASCAR Thunder 2003 was a difficult game to find? <sighs> yeah, I don't know why the randomness of this one. Since I've been collecting, I probably saw about three or four of these just pop up. It's so many black label games and they like from five to 10 bucks, but this one, it clocks in about $20. Now you can get lucky and find one, maybe at a game store somewhere and they have a price for like five bucks, but good luck because this one is starting to get out there. And I'm sorry, y'all, I'm just telling you, you know, don't be going putting this game out here for $100 to try to get some money. No, this game is trash. As you can see, color manual, boom, there you go. All right, so number three, y'all, if you just been following my game hunting adventures, I just went to Torts. <sighs> this is a convention in Ohio. It's a great convention. I found a lot of great stuff there. I did not know this game was hard to find. Number three, SpongeBob SquarePants, Creature from the Krusty Krab, a $50 game. Now, I went on eBay and I saw two copies. I saw one sold for 14. Then I saw another one sold for 60. I'm like, well, it was two copies, two copies guys this game is definitely hard to find let's look inside right color manual red on the disc on the back look at that i'm gonna play this game i like some spongebob's games spongebob's i like spongebob games <laughs> but i'm definitely going to play this one but at 50 dollars whoo y'all you gotta be committed to this cause if the playstation greatest hits collection Let's look at number two. Number two is a two pack. This right here. Now we have some collectors who tried to say this game is worth over a thousand dollars, which is a lie. Do not let collectors try to tell you something that's not worth it. I paid $150 for this on eBay. And it was the second time I saw it pop up. The first time it was a really horrible copy. Sega Fun Pack. Now. Sega Fun Pack, it comes with Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Mega Collection. And 
a slip case as you can see this is nothing this is everything right here this is what you're paying for this is what's most of the money right here is this slip case because you get two greatest hits this bad boy right here y'all the serial code on here if you try to scan that it comes up as something different which is very very weird but yeah the sega fun pack is extremely difficult to find out in the wild and it just don't pop up so and the number one game super hard to find luckily lucky your boy found two i don't know how that happened the first time i found this game shrek the third it's funny this was at retro rick store how about that it was seven dollars what <laughs> yes and some people try to now i can't tell people what to pay for games this game did go over a hundred dollars i don't know private sale or what but shrek the third is definitely hard to find guys the second time i found it was out of town in chicago and i found a lot of great stuff in chicago as you can see regular manual red disc there you go this right here was a crowning achievement because the game is horrible the movie is horrible <laughs> but i can't believe it it's in the collection guys 